Hello, I'm Randall Laporte with Beretta USA. Today we're going to cover the installation of the optional recoil reducer in the UGB stock. As you can see, we have five parts that go into the stock. These parts are available through Brownells. And what we have is the stock for the UGB. Of course, the stock is off the gun. You will have to read your manual for instructions on removing the butt plate. Once you have removed that, you will see there is a hole at the bottom of the stock. And this is where this recoil reducer would fit inside. For the recoil reducer, we have the coil spring, we have the weight, we have the sleeve, we have an O-ring, and we have a recoil stop plate. They are laid out as they fit into the stock for your viewing pleasure. And what we're going to do is first assemble a coil spring onto the weight. The unit will be slipped inside the stock. It will seat down in there. If we notice, there is a groove cut down inside here where your stop plate would fit once everything goes into place. So what we're going to do is take the O-ring and fit it into the bushing. The bushing has a countersink on the inside. You'll see a lip on one side and a flat edge on the other side. So we're going to put the O-ring into the countersunk hole, simply like that. When installed, the O-ring will press against the recess on the stop plate. And what we need to do is install with the O-ring facing backwards down into the groove that we showed you earlier. see that that's placed inside. The final step is to take the recoil plate. The flat side faces the rear. The side with the little cup goes forward. And you'll notice that there's a little taper here. This taper will help you um, install this over top of the o-ring on the inside. So. You might need a little tool here, press the tool on the top side to seat it a little bit and then you should be able to slide your plate over top of it. Now sometimes this o-ring is going to slip out of place a little bit so you might want to push everything back together as you're doing it. When properly installed, you'll notice the O-ring's not sticking out the bottom. You've got the curved plastic piece, which meets in this cutout in the stock, and the flat side is facing backwards. And that's all there is to it.